Dyslexia has affected me throughout my whole life, really. It's from when I was first diagnosed at the age of 11, um, at the start of secondary school. That was um, really difficult in particular because I was bullied a lot and people saw it more as um, a special needs problem, like a disability, rather than it's just rather than like a learning difficulty. The university approach is quite different. Many people um, at university don't see, like so many people have dyslexia, they don't see it as a problem or um, a disability, they just see it as like a learning difficulty. But it did affect my confidence to start with, but as I've got older and I've learned to deal with it, it's like better for me. I prefer to call it specific learning difficulties simply because dyslexia is an umbrella term. Different forms of dyslexia are different aspects of specific learning difficulties. They need help and they need professional help. And it's no good thinking you can remediate it yourself using computerised programmes. What we're talking about is people who have difficulties in reading, writing and processing language. Now it can be what we call familial, which means that you're born with it. And we have um, experimented with MRI scans and found that um, there is a definite difference in the construction of the brain with people who have this form of dyslexia. So very often the corpus callosum is different in these people than it is in the norm. They can build strategies, it never goes away, it's always there because it's something within their learning skills which are different. All I would say is when I'm talking to a person like this, I'd say that they're just wired up differently and they can build strategies to deal with it. So if it's a, a young child, perhaps a child of about eight or nine who has arrested development and isn't reading and isn't spelling, then we assess them and we give them a personalised programme. And I think this is what it's all about, it's this one-to-one -one with a specialist. The help I get is um, specialist equipment such as a dictaphone, software such as mind mapping things to help with revision, um, planning essays. I get one-to-one -one help for about an hour a week um, with a lady who helps me plan my assignments. Uh, read sections of books that we've got to read for specific modules and um, basically when an assignment's due to hand me she'll check that I've referenced properly, proofread my work with me and just check, make sure that I'm like filling the criteria for an assignment. The problems that I face on a daily basis are things such as um, reading and writing, they're constantly a struggle especially um, if I'm at uni for example and we're asked to read aloud in class I will find I, I will be really embarrassed about it. I'm not a brilliant speaker to like the crowd, and especially with like presentations, that's a really worrying time for me because I get really worried because I stutter. I get my my words jumbled up and things like that. I think more I think faster than I can speak the words, so that's probably like a difficulty. The kind of advice that I give to a dyslexic person would be just to stay positive. Um, be confident, see dyslexia as a positive. There's loads of famous people that have been successful who have got dyslexia. Um, and so just take inspiration from them.